The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Long, harrowing walk to the ring by the Phenom. The personification of evil. Such an ominous and chilling aura when The Undertaker comes to town. Come on, let's go! This is always his stage. It's always his yard. And if you're his opponent, you know the end is near. Three decades of dominance. The dead man's wrath is unending. An unspeakable reign of terror over the WWE. And this is the moment where there is no turning back for The Undertaker's opponent. Welcome to damnation. The Big Red Machine is here. You know, for years, WWE fans wondered what was under the mask. Now they probably regret even asking what was under the mask. Pure evil in the eyes of the big red machine. Oh, it's quite a lot.
Introducing the challenger from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the Undertaker! And introducing the champion from the Pits of Hell. Weighing in at 323 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, King! The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. What type of approach does a superstar need in order to win a matchup like this, Corey? It's important to remember that you can't win a match like this on emotion alone. You have to devise a plan and execute. Once locked in the cell, we've seen superstars embrace a new, sadistic level of barbaric behavior. I agree, Byron, and it's all out of necessity. Covered by the challenger! And the referee stops the count before two. Still in it. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Boom! Out of the ring and into hell itself. Oh. He's back into the ring. Big forearm. Tough position to be caught in here. Lands face first. Byron, is it possible to devise a game plan as a competitor when you're embarking on a journey through hell? Competitors must resign themselves to the fact that doing battle in this torturous structure means their mind, body, and soul will never be the same again. Into the corner now. Up on the turnbuckle now. Military press! Ooh. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. Oh my god, a steel chair! He's heading up top! Thinking big! Oh, man! Here's a pin for the title. He forces a break before the count of two. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Sharp punch. Boom, what a punch. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. And again. Great win to wear down your opponent. The devil's favorite demon with the devil's favorite sidewalk slam. It is pitch black in here. Are you serious? No way! He catches Kane with a counter. Ooh, body shot. Oh, what a headbutt. He's turning the tables. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, someone called a dentist. Really just landed it. 
Reversal by The Undertaker. There he goes, right into the corner. No escape from these punches. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Undertaker saw it coming. Taker has him up. Here we go. chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. The champ not looking great right now. Hell in a Cell is no joke, Michael, and they have done their best not to let this structure affect them too greatly. Yeah. Oh! The dead man beating Kane into a bottomless... Now a pen for the championship. We're in the horrors of hell. These monsters are trying to take this match to a new barbaric level. Well, this is the carnage you can expect when power's from the... <laughs> what power? Still peace. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. One, two, count. Three. Title change. We have a title change. Here is your winner. And the new... The Undertaker! Truly a huge win for this superstar, or should I say, for the new champion. The now former champion obviously not happy with this outcome. I did not think a title change was in the cards here tonight.